Hello and welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you some of the most exciting entertainment stories ever. I'm Tokumbo Taiwo and I'm here with the easy talking, the easy going and the easy looking Elsie Godwin. And the fair but factual, fiery and feisty Ife Oshunkeye. Hello people. What's up? Okay, why are you laughing Elsie? What did you have for lunch? Is this is working. Fiery <laughs> and feisty. Ah, ah. What did you have? Easy. What did I actually have for lunch? Mm. Mm. I had um, indomie and plantain. No, fried fried plantain and uh, an omelette. Yes. Wow. Only omelette. Fried eggs. Is it is omelette? Anyways. Yes. Uh, Anything new? new? Okay. Today is World Cancer Day. I mean, we yeah. forgot to mention it this mm -hmm. morning. Um, it's a day set aside to talk about the treatments, the prevention, and mm -hmm. everything that has to do with cancer. It's been trending on Twitter for. The whole day is still trending. Yeah, Number and it's one. so crazy that yeah. it's also dragging with World Whiskey Day. Today's yes, World Whiskey on Day? on Twitter. Yes, and it's actually trending. Today, today is really yeah, World Whiskey Day? No, today is not World not. Whiskey oh, Day, okay. but it's trending on Twitter. Yeah. Oh. And everybody's doing World Whiskey Day. But did you Day, check? Talking about, to be yeah. sure it's not World Whiskey Day. What? No, 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 it's not. Well, I think there's actually a day set aside for whiskey. I think, I it think his fans just there. basically so said what whiskey there. day? Yes, yeah. they just what said it. I'm hearing what whiskey day. Whiskey like, day. Whiskey oh, whiskey. you like alcohol <laughs> too much. What did you call <laughs> from? Like, is it, oh, is it really whiskey day? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are know, thinking of the next <laughs> location out of the show. Oh, whiskey day. No, 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 I think that's day. just a... The fans are doing. exactly that. What has it done again this time? Um, well, um, I think uh, a video went viral of a radio interview, but I think that because I actually went back to watch it and mm -hmm. it's actually a long time ago it because go. they were still talking about his um collaboration with Drake, mm -hmm. One Dance. Oh, and okay, I was and it was in America. And while he was speaking, they were talking to Whiskey like <laughs> such a big star, like oh, this guy is so big. And during the show, they were trying to take pictures. Imagine we're on this show and then we have a guest and then we're trying to take. Selfie. picture selfies with the guest while we are still on the show. Do you mm. get like, it's so crazy. So I think that video just went viral recently and then people just said, oh, come on, look at Whiskey. But I saw something funny. Someone was like, oh, you guys should stop this comparison with Whiskey and David Doe. Yes, they sold out the O2 Arena, but one thing that is for sure is that the both of them cannot sell out to them, Sean Camp. Oh, okay. So that's another <laughs> challenge so, now. Yeah, they go here and they going back to back. Anyway, I'm glad that you are now taking Twitter serious. Like, while you were talking, my soul was rejoicing. Like, no, you, it's not him that is taking it seriously. No, no, it's what the bloggers are doing. He goes there to check no. on the table. Oh, he does? Yeah, for him no, to know I what think, no, no, day has been No, that's what I'm saying. That's the headlines on check. the blogs. But, uh, no, I actually did. Sorry. You did? Yeah, yeah, but after you saw it on the headlines. Why are you so... Because I know he's still not a keen person on Twitter. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I know he's, he's, you know, he's active on social Tokumba media, but not my Twitter. social media handles. Oh, so, yeah, so he's my a social media, media manager. Picture. He's my social media analyst. Manager. Oh. Manager and analyst. Oh, but seriously, okay. if there, we all have our favorites, you know, Twitter, so sorry, what's social your, what's media. Your I, I like Instagram and I one time, I like you know, I used to be... So. Um, a fanatic on Twitter, you know, mm -hmm. and that got me a lot of followers, more that more so uh, than Instagram. But um, why did you stop? Instagram. No, being Twitter. a fanatic on Twitter. On Twitter, you know, it's time consuming, it's addictive, and then you know, it, it, it was getting to that point. Everyone was like, "What's he always doing on the phone?" And I'm like, seriously, because people like what you do, and then people retweet what you do, and it's like, wow, I can't believe this person retweeted my tweet. This person liked it, and it gets very addictive. So then, it's like, before this gets out of hand, you mm. know, let me. Mm. Then I don't know if you guys have heard about um, Kosi. What's that last Ojiako. name? Ojiako. Yeah. Right. Yes, um, she was at an award recently. I wouldn't want to call the award so okay. that it wouldn't be like we're shading them since mm -hmm. they're also a TV station. It's one of those TV Man of the Year award, TV station Man of the Year. Exactly. Yes, I think I saw something like that. Or, and then Kosi yeah. went like, yes. I was about to call them. <laughs> you don't have to damn them, boy. Yeah. He said. It's being award by force. That how can you invite me? You people used Uber to deliver the car to my house, and then you now invited me with a VIP ticket. I bought fuel in my car, 
I um, what else did she say she did? Uh, I think she bought for and one other thing. Mm -hmm. She said that is enough for her to get a decent dinner. Then she went to the award and then they did not give her any food or drink, mm -hmm. but they gave her popcorn like she came to see the movies. Uh, well, they are known for movies, you know. But you were there. What did you have? Popcorn too? Oh no, I had shrimps. I had omelette and plantain, fried plantain, and um, I, I, I also <laughs> had. Um, hey, well, <laughs> else you say something. I'm glad I did not see popcorn. I also had like, red, it's red, so popcorn. I had Red velvet cake um, as dessert and um, this same event. Um, oh, hold up! I'm not done. Then I, afterwards, they asked me if I wanted um fried or jollof rice. Um, oh, I want um what's it called? Basmatic. So I, I went for basmatic and um. It's not I'm, basmatic. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> No, go on, go on. It's what? Correct me now. <laughs> go on. Correct it's, me. Uh, it's basmati. There's no K or C sound at the end. Just basmati. I did not put U M K or C. You did. Eh? Mm. I was <laughs> saying basmati. I said basmati L C. <laughs> Yes, yeah. he said basmati. Okay. So, yeah, go on. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I went for the basmati, and um, you asked me what I oh, am. Go on, go on. And I'm telling you. Mm. Okay, so. And then, um, so I don't know where Kosi was sitting, but you know how we sit today. Yeah. Isla, are you being serious now? Yeah, I'm serious. I so have very good food. All... Yeah, very good. No, I was just joking about all the stuff well, I called. But you had very good food. But I had very and good food. someone who came with the VIP very, tag yeah. had popcorn. Oh, come on, man. I had the VIP tag. Sorry. Oh, sorry. My bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did you see the picture of Comedia and NBA? Oh, yes. What's the, what do you think is the brain or... I don't know if I've told you guys it stays in my estate. Oh. Oh, so he's your that's the guy you usually see regularly. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Does he move man. around in pants like that? No, but he moves around funny. Funny. <laughs> that's wow. all I can say, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. You're saying much, but not saying much. Yeah, mm. that's all I can say. He moves around funny. But a friend of mine is actually worried about the caption that was used on one of the popular um, blogs on Instagram. And he's more like, why would you use that kind of caption mm -hmm. when this guy falls into depression now? Will all come out to say, oh... How? That he's looking for clout? Yeah. Yeah, I, also but that's X, the truth. X, um, what's, the li what's the line now? X, X Instagram comedian. No, X popular. Something that shows that he has gone away from, from the fame yeah. and now he's doing everything to get publicity pop again. Publicity again. Mm. And, and then on such platform, the... I mean, this platform has 2 million followers. Oh, God, right oh, now. God. That's I feel so terrible. But I really want to share a story with you guys. Mm. I really, really want to share what a story is about, about the same guy. So what did he do? I hope he doesn't fall into depression. Oh, but but... Share it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm sure you guys are dying to hear the story. Yes, now. I am. Okay, so like I told you, he stays um, in my estate. And, um... Okay, you know what, Ife, you need to be quick about it. We need to go on break. So in two sentences. No, no, no I wouldn't like Ife to cut this tree. So no. maybe okay. you should go on, on break. break. When and we, come we come back, back yeah. you we'll tell us the, the story. Yeah. Yes. yeah, so that we can have more of the juicy details. And you know how Ife is? He's always at this... Um, um, events where he can tell us he's the fly on the wall he will tell us detail for detail info for info yes everything when we come back right here on tea time so watch out for the story that Ife is waiting to tell us we'll be right back after this quick break <laughs> it's where the big stories live this is Plus TV Africa when I did it I was full-on hands-on on the whole project so how did you exactly. deal with it? All of that negative. I got depressed, obviously. Of, duh. <laughs> Haven't you heard? I've got two of the hottest topics currently trending on social media. If you've seen the word Senate trending on Twitter, that's because the Nigerian police force has gone Trump style. I probably I haven't shared this with anyone, but I reckon I get about like 100 people asking for help a day. That's a fact. I can prove that. Welcome back. You're watching Tea Time right here on PLOS TV Africa. And uh, we've got a studio guest here in uh, here on set. But before we introduce that studio guest, we will go back to what it was we were discussing uh, before the break. And Ife, my 
co-anchor here is going to be telling us. Why do you guys want to make <laughs> no, him look like the bad guy? No, he was about to spill tea. Spill yes, he was about to spill tea. You know that's spill what we do. Right okay, so here. we're still yeah. talking about comedian in BA, and yeah. um, LC pointed out that um, the bloggers are making it look like he has lost his relevance. Mm -hmm. and I think he's also trying to art because I know somebody that had a one-on-one -on -one encounter with him. Okay, so he called a one-on-one -on -one encounter, a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Or? Encounter. Let, encounter. Let me let me just finish the story, right? Okay. So, yeah. All right. Okay, so he calls another lady that stays in my estate, a mutual friend, and they're like, "Oh, where are you at?" And she's like, "Oh, I'm on my way to work." And they're like, "Okay, I'll take you to work." And then they were at the toll gate, and then they're like, I just put his face cap on, put on his face. Now she was wondering, like, what's wrong with this guy? What's wrong? Then as soon as they pass the toll gate, she's like, "Didn't you notice those guys were trying to snap me? They were trying to take a picture of me." Wow. And she was like, I didn't even see anybody looking at you. <laughs> so, like, an air of self importance. Yeah, you okay. get me. All right. So or maybe he was just trying to tell. impress the lady, you never oh, know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Things you guys do for ladies. No, not what to be guys. What things the women do for the guys? Like, what? What has. Elsie, let's not go there. I think it's Elsie, look at this, this, man. <laughs> Me, what you guys do for the guys? Don't touch it like Ex that. It's not that cheap, please. Thank Ooh. you. Can we move on? Not that cheap, boy. It's cheap. You know, it's not cheap. Okay. Elsie, I'll be careful if I were you where you drop that. Mm. Can you remember that beauty pageant lady that caught fire and all that? No, this one doesn't catch fire. Wow. Oh. You know, Elsie does, you know, excellent stuff. Mm. Peruvian. All right. It was yes. Peruvian last was it, week. It was, what is no, it this now? This is kinky. Kinky. Oh. Natural hair kinky. Oh, wow. It does How look much? kinky and it does look natural. How much? I want to pay guys. for it, actually. Okay. <laughs> I think it's time to move on. Okay. So, um, as we mentioned earlier, on the program today, we have a studio guest. And he's a promising young Nigerian rap artist. Uh, his list of works include Let Me In, Takarewa, Venus and Mars, Takeaway, uh, to mention a few. He kicked off his musical career in 2006 and got a shot at the limelight with his hit song, Zombie, uh, where he sampled the song of the late Fela and Nicola Pukuti. He's a graduate of botany from the University of Lagos, and last year he teamed up with fellow artist T. Jan uh, to record a chat topping song entitled Mix It. He's uh, often referred to as Hailing uh, from the Helms of Bethel. And born Okweyemi Lawal, allow me to introduce the light hearted and the lion hearted Labzi Lawal. Hello guys, how you doing? Not yeah, bad, welcome onto the show. Thank you, good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, um, where do we start? Okay. Lab Why do you always do this? Where do we start? So let's start with Labzi. More like Yemi Lawal. Yemi Lawal. Yemi Lawal is better. Yes, yeah, so I was wondering how you got to Labzi. Yeah, so because I saw Okwe, I saw Yemi, I was like, okay, what's going on? Where did Labzi, you know, fit into all of this? So how did you get or come up with the name Labzi? It's a long story, but I'll break it down. It started uh, back in high school. I had this, I had flappy years back then. I was younger and it was a bit flappy. So the girls used to come laba laba. Oh. So you know, it's a long and funny story. Okay. So the girls used to come laba laba. I think, uh, I don't want to mention names now, okay. but they are, they are all grown up now, obviously. Yeah. We are all grown up now. Okay. So it was shut into labs over time. Then I added my, my son in Lawal to it. So you've had surgery to close them up? <laughs> 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 don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, but just, how, did it, how did it get back to this? It grew up. It grew up. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. Grew up. yeah. Mm. You know yeah. how the but caterpillar a... went to be a laba laba? Mm. That's how it went from laba laba exactly. to labzi. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how it evolved. Yeah. 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 Well, it's like um, you got comfortable with the name. Yes, yes. I, did. yes, so, yes I did. That's good. All yeah. right, thank okay, you. Okay, so if, uh, when I go on Google to search you, mm. of course, we see labzi, we search labzi lawal, and all we say is, you have the song with this, the song with this, the song. We just see the professional part. Mm. So you, as a human being, mm -hmm. what don't we know about you? Like, what is that human aspect of you? Mm, I'm an introvert. Okay. Mm. To an extent, uh, I like to stay by myself many a time. If I'm not going out to do shows, or you know, if I'm not having radio interviews and TV interviews like this, aside that, I write. I write. I write books. I'm an author, sort of. Mm. Yeah. I go on that name, Lem Nem. Lem. Lem Nem, it means old and smart. Okay, for writing. Mm. For writing. So why do you have a different name for writing and a different one for music? For music. Also it's just a different alter ego, exactly. Mm. And you don't want either one of them to be associated with each other? No. Okay, why? Different things should bring different forms of money. Or wow. sources, different sources yeah, of money. Yeah, but do you not think using one name can capitalize? Yes, capitalize. I... Thank you. <laughs> Bas Basmatic <laughs> and capitalize. Why you so sleep? <laughs> <laughs> no, this was a slip of tongue, you fair, and you know. Yeah, mine too was a slip of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a slip of C. Oh, uh, anyway, back to my question. So, yeah. don't you think you know using one name, you know, would even uh, market you further, and then even like I said, capitalize on your brand? Now, I wouldn't want to alter the artistic perspective of it. Do you understand? Like, uh, that is how it is done for yeah. authors. Many authors don't go by their popular names. Yeah, it's like, names. let me give you an example. Um, what's his name? Childish Gambino and um, what's his acting name? What's yeah, but name? it's not what's Donald Glover. Donald Glover. Donald Glover. Donald Glover. Yeah, Donald Glover. Yeah, like yeah, but the thing is, um, he's not going to use um, Childish Gambino if he's writing a book. Does he use Childish Gambino? He uses. Yeah, but he uses Donald Glover for movies, for movies. and he uses Childish Gambino for music. But Donald Glover is his real name. Hey, hello. Oh, yeah, Nem Nem. Lem Nem. Lem Nem. Lem Nem. Old and smart. Oh. It's a bit of a tongue twister in itself. So, how did you come up with that? Okay, basically, I'm also this guy that likes to, I mean, I'm a nerd to an extent for literature. Okay. okay. For literature, so as I was writing, I also tried to come up with languages. Okay. You understand? Okay. So, they have this language I'm trying to draft up called Juronimo. Okay. Right? J, J U R I N I M U N. Geronimo. Geronimo. In, in English, it's Geronimo. Okay. It's like, it's like, um, it's like, I like it. It's like a mind seat. That's why I say it. my fans are Gerons of Labzilawala, Gerons from the Elms of Betel. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So I just try to be as deep as I can. Mm. Okay. Do you understand? So you seem very passionate in, about In, 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 very passionate about literature. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So in Geronimo, Lemnem means old and smart. Oh, okay. Exactly. So do you speak Latin or...? <laughs> it's not Latin. <laughs> no, I'm just asking I because don't I don't, you don't speak Latin. Don't because speak you said Latin. you have a love for literature, I just thought maybe... Because most people that do tend to like... like. So I just thought maybe you did some Latin no. growing up, no, no, none no. whatsoever. No. So what would you say are your favourite books in literature that have you know inspired you from times past? Mm, books from the likes of Olisha Inga, okay. Lion and Jo. I think that's where Olisha Inga is. Am I correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lion yeah, and, yeah. and Joe. Yeah, uh, that's, yeah. Many books that I can't remember. Books from the likes of, poems from the likes of, uh, what's his name again? I've forgotten his name. Now. Okay, so you do many, not many just poems stories, but like, poems as well. I write poems. All right, well. before my colleagues ask you the next question, we'll take a quick break, and All then right. when we come back, we'll continue in our conversation uh, with our studio guest. Yes, music artist Labzi Lawa. We'll be right back. It's where the big stories live. This is Plus TV Africa. When I did it, I was full on, hands on, on the whole project. So how did you deal with it? All of that negative. I got depressed, obviously. Of, duh. Haven't you heard? I've got two of the hottest topics currently trending on social media. If you've seen the word Senate trending on Twitter, that's because the Nigerian police force has gone Trump style. I probably haven't shared this with anyone, but I reckon I get about like a hundred people asking for help a day. That's a fact, I can prove that. Welcome back. You're watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. And in case you're just joining us, we're talking to budding music artist Labzi Lawal, a.k.a. Lemnem. Did I get it right? Yeah, you got it right. Oh, excellent. Mm. I'm very proud of myself. So, yes. guys? Um, first, I would like to know, what does music mean to you? A lot. Music is a dream I've always owned since I was much younger. Mm. Uh, I always wanted to, you know, travel here, there, London, America, do shows, tour. Sell out, sell out big events, places, go to arenas, go to arenas you know, Royal Albert Halls and all <laughs> that stuff. So you know, that's, what, that's what music means to me, a dream. A dream okay. I've always owned since I was much younger. All right, so speaking of the dream, I'd like you to take us into your dream world right now mm. and show us your dream. So mm. that's me putting you on the spot to say freestyle. Freestyle. Yeah, with Lost TV Africa. Hey, yo, plus TV Africa, got lobs the while on deck. L.A.B.Z.Y., see, there ain't no disrespect. Shout out to the Misty, he fed bees on the block. Lobs the while, see, I rock and they sock. I don't know what your name is, but I'm a still free. I think your T 
looks like my tea in a bit of a spray. L-A-B-Z-Y off the top, I be going. Shout out to L-C, Lobsy, the wild flowing. Ain't gotta stop, ain't gonna quit. Freestyle off the top of the dome, I'm the ish. And I ain't gonna curse on live TV either. Lobsy, the wild bees, the number one breeder. Cheater. <laughs> well done, well done, very well done Thank indeed. You. Okay. Wow. So you okay. said um, you can, you love getting deep when you're writing. Yes, I do. And um, writers, um, those are in the creative space, actually writers mm. and poets, they've mm. been associated a bit with mental health, more like depression, actually when they want to reach into their inner space so. to get whatever they want to create. So have you had such experience? And if not, if yes, as, let us know. And if not, what is your take on the fight against, um, sh the should practice. I call it mental health fight mm -hmm. now, or the, what's this word? Why is this word escaping me? But the whole advocacy about mental health, what mm -hmm. is your take on it? For me, all I need is focus. I don't go through any form of mental health issues to write or to get in my own creative arena or space. Do you understand? But for advocacy, uh, I would say, yeah, to an extent, some, some people go through it. Some people, some people, some people um, face that area or face that situation to an extent. But for me, no. For me, no. Okay. okay, let's talk about your music. You know, you've come out with a lot of singles, you know, and a lot of videos as well. You know, which one would you say is um, the, the most biggest. dear to your heart? I know. Let me. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so me. tell us the story behind it, you know, and what led to inspiration about singing that song. So I'll be very honest with you, it was about the girl I like. Okay. I like it. Do you know what? Before you even tell us the story, can you just sing like the chorus? Because probably everybody knows that song, but they mm. don't know you're the one. They don't so know just you. sing like the chorus of that song, and then okay. we can go on. So blow me a wish, yeah. Light up a candle. I'm banging on the door. There's something in the handle. Would you let me in? Would you let me in? Would you let me in? No, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's it. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so you could go on with the. <laughs> answering the question. It's, it started as, uh, it came as, in, as, as, um, one this, of your relationships. One of my relationships, yeah. Okay, this. and it's like it still is, the relationship still is, or it's gone now? Mm, it still is. Okay. Still oh, so is. she did let you in? She did let me in. <laughs> finally. Oh, finally. finally. Finally, she did. So is your voice strained? Strained? No, How do no, you mean? Trained, trained. Trained, trained. Yes, no, no, no. or? Okay. Just natural. Non trained. So, okay, but did you learn how to sing? Because there's some kind of professionalism that I detect which doesn't come, you know, from people who, like, in, uh, involve themselves in commercial singing. So there must have been, like, hours of some kind hours of... Hours of practice. Practice. But not, not professional okay. training. Oh, I see. So exactly. you're self-taught then? Self-taught, exactly. Oh, well done, well Thank done. You. Thank so you. final questions, anyone, before we wrap up? Um, just tell us about the journey so far. What, what has it been like? And um, what, what should we, we be expect? expecting from you? The journey so far has been challenging challenging to an extent. We should be bigger than this, actually. You know, we should be in places in higher ramifications, higher higher heights well, than this. we? Who do you mean? Labzi Brown. Jirons of Labzi Lawa. Okay. Yes, your fans. Mm. Your My major fans. fans. So I'm taking to Jirony Moon. Mm. Yes. I thought you were putting together so, all your alter egos. Oh. Lem Lem. <laughs> the Lem Lems. The Lem Lems. Okay. No, Lem Lems are right. It's uh, yeah. just right. Okay, good. So like I said, like I was saying, we should be bigger than this by now. But obviously, it, it took 40 years for the Israelites to get to Canaan. They didn't it. So we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Then for things you, you should expect from me, I have this new single coming. It's titled Genius. Okay. It's of my new project called Trust. Okay. Which is an acronym for the rise of the tall kid. I'm also called the tall kid and Omoga in Yoruba. Mm. Omoga, tall kid. I don't know if you understand how I speak. Tall kid, Omoga. Tall kid, Omoga. 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 Yes, yeah, like, like, mm -hmm. um, it's like another AKA. I said it's Lemnem. Okay. Lemnem. Like you're so making you describe me as the man with the many AKAs. Mm. Yeah. You, is that Introduce term? yourself then. What up, people? Boy loves it while AKA tall kid, AKA Misachi service, AKA Lemnem, AKA Juboy, Jun Boy. And I'm Live on Plus TV Africa. Okay, so with so many um, aliases like that, does, does that not um, 
show or reflect or to someone else who might be in the medical field or in any other profession. <laughs> split personality <laughs> issue. Multiple personality. I'm not split. Multiple. What do you, how would you react to someone who might be thinking along those lines that, okay, with each name is, a, is an alter ego and with each name is a split, is, is, a, is a different personality. Mm. So how do you react to that? It's just one person. It's just one person. It's just creativity. Mm. Okay. It's just depth. Okay. That's where it stops. All right. Excellent. Thank wonderful you. answer for a wonderful question. And that's where we're going to wrap up on Tea Time this afternoon. Uh, we're back tomorrow for absolutely brand new episodes of the program with absolutely brand new entertainment stories. Until then, a big thank you to my co-anchors, Ife and Elsie, the entire production team as well. And of course, our guests on the program, music artist Labzi Lawal, a.k.a. Lemnem, a.k.a. Tolkien, Tolkien, a.k.a. AKA Junboy, a.k.a. Omaga, a.k.a. AKA that's it? That's it. That's it. <laughs> For now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm Tokumbo Taiwo, a.k.a. TT, saying thanks for watching and have yourself a, a good evening. <laughs>